bringing it back up the court, finds Jack Maddox. Maddox. Oh! Full court press. The nice in the 100% pure all natural skill that kid is. Great play by. Some rebounding, putbacks, and just shots inside. Great offense. Mike McGovern, nearly stolen Mike McGowan. Good pass down low by Jack Maddox. Jack Garcia, who can burn. Hello and welcome to the Good Sports Invitational, Lexington versus AB. I'm Devin Withers alongside Tom O'Hara. Now Tom, we're at TD Bank North Garden and AB, what do they have to do in order to play well with the absence of Reed Larson? Well, players got to step up. Last night, Jack Maddox scored 14 points and had a really good game. If he can do that again, I think AB will definitely win this one. And also, AB is really well known for their rebounding. What does Lexington have to do in order to stop these offensive rebounds? Lexington has to use their size. They've got some big players out there. And if they can out-rebound AB, they'll have a good chance at winning tonight. We'll see you at halftime. Enjoy the game, everyone. Number 10, co-captain, Gabe Lorenzi. Number 32, Harry O'Neill. Number 33, also a co-captain, Hugh O'Neill. And finally, number 35, Darius Mathis. Head coach, Randy Hall, assisted by Chris Bernard, Stephen Light, and Miles here. And now for your home, Acton Boxborough High School. Hello and welcome everyone. Starting for Lexington High School, it's going to be number four, Glenn Smith the third, number 10, James Lorenzi, number 32, Harry O'Neill, number 33, Hugh O'Neill, and number 35, Darius Mathis. For AB, we're going to have number 22, Alex Boyd, number 11, Jack Maddox, number one, Michael Mandawa, number three, Mike McGovern, and number 10, Namde. This game is part of the Good Sports Invitational. It's a uh, 14 teams are invited for seven games all over from all over Massachusetts. Uh, proceeds go to helping children in need get some sports equipment to have a healthier lifestyle. So it's really a great event we got going on here today. Great cause here today, Tom. And Lexington's going to start it off leading two to nothing. That's going to be Harry O'Neill with that rebound or that layup. Lexington showing a lot of pressure on defense here. AB works the ball up the court. And that's a traveling call on number 11, Jack Maddox, the freshman for AB. Jack Maddox scored 14 points last night in AB's win over Westford. Had a big influence and hopefully he can play well today. Both teams are coming off a win here. And the shot is off the mark. Rebound by number three, Mike McGovern. Crazy play right there. Namdi Udoku almost tipped the ball in unintentionally. That's going to be out of bounds. A.B. ball. Good passing game early here for AB. Jack Maddox appeared to have almost gotten fouled there, but there was no call. Out of bounds again, and that'll remain AB's ball. Three point shot is off for Mike Mandawa, Lexington's ball. Mike Mandawa generally has a very good first quarter. 
Nike uh, gets AB the lead early, and that's very important in a lot of their games. So look out for him to score a lot of points in his first quarter here. Glenn Smith, the third for Lexington, is going to take it out. Mike McGovern, the defensive specialist, is guiding his team. Interception by Mike McGovern. That's going to be Lexington's first turnover. And we got a shooting foul. Shooting foul as Jack Maddox draws the foul. He will take two free throws. Good play right there by Jack Maddox. As I said, had a great game last night. He's doing very well filling the gap that it was caused by Reed Larson's injury. First attempt is no good. Jack Maddox really stepping up his game, helping AB get those wins. The second attempt is no good also. And Alex Boyd, oh my goodness. Big block there for Alex Boyd, but it will be a traveling call and it will be Lexington's ball. Alex Boyd using his height able to shut down Glenn Smith the third right there. And we got a traveling call on number 10, James Lorenzi for Lexington, AB's ball. Lexington appears to be playing a zone defense trying to stop AB from bringing the ball up court quickly. Mike, Michael Mandawa with the shot, and that's his first basket of this quarter. Mike Mandawa, as I said, generally has a very good first quarter, and you can see it right there, putting points on the board for Acton Boxborough. And that shot for Lexington is going to be make by Harry O'Neill, number 32. And just off for Mike Mandawa. Rejected by the rim right there as Ryan Graziano gets that rebound. Ryan Graziano able to handle the ball very well and pass it off to Mike McGovern. Jack Maddox couldn't get off the shot. AB with a lot of a lot of chances here early. However, Lexington still has a lead here. Good defense right there by Alex Boyd as he'll be out of bounds, AB's ball. Lexington with a very interesting defense right here. Mostly a zone with a bit of pressure on the ball carrier. And as Glenn you can see Smith right there. the third will take that and miss the open layup rebound by number 22, Alex Boyd. Alex Boyd out muscles him right there. Missed shot by Jack Maddox and we got out of bounds, AB's ball. Three-point shot by Ryan Graziano, and that's good. Gives A.B. the 6-4 to lead. Ryan Graziano, great shooter right there, as you can see. Gives A.B. the lead right back. Another block right there by Alex Boyd. Great defense by him so far, Tom. Yep. Lexington is a pretty big team, but Alex Boyd, standing tall at 6'7", is able to get some blocks early. Out of bounds, Lexington ball. And we got a timeout called. Glenn Smith, the third, is going to take it out for Lexington right now. 
Contested shot is missed, and that's Estacchio with the rebound. Open three-point shot is off. Offensive rebound by Mike McGovern, who's going to put it back in there for AB. Great job right there by Mike McGovern. Rebounds can play a big part in the games here. So AB, good job right there. Interception by Ryan Graziano, who gets a little too fancy, and it'll be Lexington's ball. Matt Bullock into the game, number 21. And we got a jump ball. Jump ball. Matt Bullock comes right into the game. Sacrifices the body to get the ball there. Unfortunately, Lexington will maintain possession. And the athletic shot right there by number three, David Barner Jr. Used his speed right there to get through AB's defense. AB will have to adjust to that. Oh, and ankles have been broken. Defender, call the defender is on ice skates. And a very nice dunk right there by number 33, Hugh O'Neill for Lexington. It's a battle out there. Which team looks cooler? I'm not sure right now. AB with the crossover and Lexington with the dunk. And we got a traveling call at Estacchio, Lexington's ball. And we're gonna have subs for AB. Number one, Mike Mandel is gonna come back on along with number five, Brett Rutina. Brett Rutina in the game, great player, great work ethic. Out of bounds, A.B. Ball. Great defense right there by Brett Routina, number five, when he came into the game. Played some aggressive defense. Now A.B. Gets, gets a ball, and Namdi Udoku is in the game. Great rebounder. Significant player for A.B. here. And the basket by number 32, Ryan Graziano for A.B. Ryan Graziano with the basket right there. Also a three-point shot and a great crossover. He's having a good game so far. Traveling call on Lexington, A.B.'s ball. Great screen right there by Namdu Doku. And we got a foul. It looks like two free throws will be awarded to number one, Mike Mandawa. First attempt is a make. That makes it 11-8 AB right here. AB trying to run away with the game early. And the second attempt is good. Number two, David Crawley is going to check in the game for the first time today. Coach Kilpatrick trying to get everybody into the game here. Of course, who wouldn't want to play at the Garden? Another turnover by Lexington as number five, Brett Routino, will take it out. And the three-point shot is just off for David Crawley. That would be a nice way to start off this game for him. Good shot selection, but just out. That shot is going to be rebounded by number 22, Alex Boyd. Brett Rutina, great ball handling there. And we got two free throws awarded to number 22, Alex Boyd. Brett Rutina charged to the basket with his speed. Showed off some good ball handling and then passed the ball off and A.B. ends up getting some shots here. First shot is a make. 13-8 A.B. 
with 32 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Second attempt is a mess. Rebounded by number 12. That's going to be Stephen Cook. Luke Davidson in the game for Acton Boxborough. He's playing defense right now in the ball, ball handler for Lexington, as is Brett Rutina. That shot will be rebounded by Nomdi. in the sophomore. AB doubling Lexington's points right now with that last second three-point shot. Welcome back to the second quarter for the first time today. Double zero, Patrick will be checking in the game. Patrick trying to use his height here to help out AB. And that'll be rebounded by number 33 for Lexington, Hugh O'Neill. Standing at 6'6", Hugh O'Neill. It's a big target out there. Patrick trying to contain him. Patrick's got an inch on him, though. And the rebound again by Namdi. Namdi, great rebounder. Rebound by number 32, Harry O'Neill. Good defense right there by Patrick. AB gets the ball. And we got a foul right there. And it looks like it'll be two free throws for number 12, Luke Davidson. Glenn Smith the third with a foul there. The first attempt is a mess. AB is up 16 to 8 right now. They're looking to get a bigger lead here. Second attempt is a make. <laughs> AB starting to run away with this game. That's exactly what they wanted. Number three, Mike McGovern will check back into the game for Luke Davidson. AB very aggressive out there on defense. And we're going to get a foul. That's going to be two free throws awarded to number 44, Teddy McKenna. First attempt is a make. We're going to get Alex Boyd. We're going to get Jack Maddox and Ryan Graziano back in the game for Crawley, Nomdi, and Patrick. The second attempt is a miss, rebound by Alex Boyd. AB rushing up court, so Lexington cannot set up their defense. And the turnover is by number three, Mike McGovern. Open shot is a miss. Rebound by number one, Mike Mandawa. AB doing a pretty good job of rebounding tonight. That's exactly what they need to win. And a nice shot right there. Very athletic play by number three, Mike McGovern. Great passing right there for AB. Oh my Ariel goodness, Alex Boyd. Stopped. Oh man. Alex Boyd hosting a block party tonight and everyone is invited. And that's Ryan Graziano with yet another basket for AB. AB up 21 to 9 right here. And a traveling call. It'll be AB's ball.
Coach Kilpatrick is calling out his plays. Three-point attempt is off. Offensive rebound by Jack Maddox. Jack Maddox, great play right there to get the ball back, but unfortunately it's turned over and A.B. picks it up again. Contested shot is a make for number one, Mike Mandawa. Mike Mandawa is such a great shooter. Another three-point right there. A.B. up 24-9. Mike Mandawa putting up some good numbers in the first half here. And yet another turnover as Mike McGovern will take it up for A.B. A.B. winning the turnover battle here. Very important for their success. And that'll be a foul for number 11, Jack Maddox, who will shoot two free throws. Jack Maddox, great job right there to draw the foul. Smart play right there. Number 21 for AB, Matt Bullock, will come back into the game. Mike McGovern will take a rest on the bench as Matt Bullock takes his spot. Be an Matt inbound Bullock pass will. to number 32, Ryan Graziano. And it'll be Lexington's ball. Aggressive play right there by Jack Maddox. He knows that AB needs those rebounds. Good play right there. Contested shot is made by number 33. That's going to be Hugh O'Neill. Hugh O'Neill is shooting very well tonight. AB is trying to contain him out there. Missed layup by number one, Mike Mandawa. As David Barner Jr. will try to make something out of this, and we'll get a foul. Stockio is going to come back into the game. Alex Boyd will take a rest. Contested shot once again is made by number 33, Hugh O'Neill. AB having trouble stopping O'Neill out there tonight. Lexington is cutting down AB's lead. It's now 24-13. And we're gonna get a traveling call on Estacchio. It'll be Lexington's ball. Number three, Mike McGovern will check back into the game for number one, Mike Mandawa. David Barner Jr. with the missed layup. And we're gonna get an and one for number 44, Teddy McKenna. Alex Boyd gonna come back into the game for AB. A.B. needs some height out there. A.B. had their hands up on that last play, but they just couldn't get the block, and they ended up fouling. And the free throw will be made. Lexington very aggressive on defense. Lexington's going to race up the court, and that'll be an, yet another two points for James Lorenza. Lexington is only down by six. A.B. takes a timeout. 
needs to think over what they're going to do to stop them. Inbound. Alex Boyd passes the ball off to Matt Bullock. Shot clock winding down. Shot clock violation. It'll be Lexington's ball. Nambi Udoku back into the game. AB trying to get some height on the floor. Contested shot is off, and we're going to have a loose ball foul. AB's ball. Nandu Doku doing a great job right there trying to get the rebound. Darius Mathis with the foul there. And it is stolen, and... Glenn Smith, the third, is going to take it in for that layup. Mike McDowell will take the ball this time. Good pick right there by Alex Boyd. And that'll be an offensive foul, Lexington's ball. AB's lead is down to four points. Lexington is gaining a bit of momentum. Excuse but Mike me. Mandawa. Number one, Mike Mandawa is going to take two free throws. Was not an offensive charge. First attempt is a make. Second attempt is also a make. Glenn Smith the third with the ball for Lexington, one of the starters out there. And it'll be out of bounds. Ryan Graziano avoids the aggressive defense of Lexington right there. AB with a lot of good passing. Offensive rebound by Namdi, but it is taken away by Lexington as another layup attempt. And we're gonna get a traveling call, AB's ball. Crazy play right there, but AB will get some momentum out of it. The crowd of Lexington does not like that call. And it'll be blocked by number 32, Harry O'Neill. Can't blame him for that. Maintain possession. That was Harry O'Neill right there, standing at 6'5". That's five inches taller than Mike McGovern. And we got a foul. It'll remain AB's ball. As Ryan Graziano will take two free throws. And the attempt is good. 27-20, AB with the lead. And the second attempt 
is also good. Ryan Graziano, very good shooter. Puts two points on the board right there. Eight point lead for AB. And it looks like we're gonna get a foul right now. And the shot is off, offensive rebound, and out of bounds once again with only two seconds remaining. It'll be Lexington's ball. And that concludes the half. It'll be 28 AB, 20 Lexington. Welcome to halftime, everyone. AB is leading 28 to 20. Now, Tom, what do you see some of the strong suits for AB? You know, AB's been passing well and drawing some fouls, and that, that ends up with points on the board. If they can keep doing that, they can run, really run away with this game. And now, Tom, what does Lexington have to do in order to fight back in this eight-point deficit they got themselves in? Well, they need some more chances. When they get chances, they generally, they generally score. So if they can get more, they'll put more points on the board, and they might win this game. Enjoy the second half, everyone. And we're back to the second half. Lexington trying to get started hot right now as they're down by eight points. And they do just that with that layup by number four. That's going to be Glenn Smith the third. Lexington with a good start. AB trying to keep their lead going here. Offensive rebound by Jack Maddox, but he loses it to Glenn Smith the third, who takes it up for yet another rebound. And there's an offensive rebound. Both teams scrambling for the ball out there. Lexington gets it. And we got out of bounds, AB's ball. Jack Maddox will inbound. Playing a good game so far. Had a great game last night against Westford. Put up 14 points. Shot is off, but the rebound by Namdi, who puts it in himself. Great play right there. AB gets some more points on the board off of a very athletic play by Namdi. And that shot will, will be made by number 32. That's Harry O'Neill for Lexington. And a Lexington nice save, right but AB gets it. Jack Maddox contested shot. It'll be out of bounds. Remains AB's ball. Shot in traffic is no good. AB keeps the ball though. AB looking to create some more opportunities for points here. Doing a good job so far. Glenn Smith the third is going to take it up, but we got a foul on number 10. That's Namdi. It'll be Lexington's ball. Both teams playing very physical out there. Right there, it worked out for Lexington. Number 32, Ryan Graziano is going to come in for AB. And that's number 33, Hugh O'Neill with that basket. Harry O'Neill at 6'5", AB struggling to contain him. He just elevates over them. And we're gonna get a foul, it'll be AB's ball. And we're gonna get a foul, nice true foul by number one, Mike Mandawa. And that'll be tipped, still a baseball. 
AB with a lot of passing on the perimeter, but it doesn't work out there as they try and get it to Namdi Udoku, number 10. Tipped by Alex Boyd, it'll be Lexington's ball. That was a good play by Boyd to use his height as an advantage there. Better than giving up two points. And that shot will be missed as Alex Boyd contains it for AB. AB moving quickly up the court. And it'll be AB's ball. And we're going to get out of bounds, Lexington's ball. Alex Boyd, very aggressive out there. That's number three, David Barner Jr. for Lexington. Lexington was able to find the hole in AB's defense. And now the score is 30-28. Lexington is only down by two points right now. And a nice shot by Namdi as he draws the foul. And he'll be awarded two free throws. AB doing a good job so far of drawing fouls and creating points off of them. As you can see right there, Namdi Doku drew the foul. First attempt is a miss. Brett Rutina will come into the game after the timeout. Number five, Brett Rutino is going to check it in the game for AB as Nomini takes his second free throw attempt. Second attempt is a make. Nomdi, good job generating points off of a foul there. AB has increased the lead to three points, 31-28. And that shot by number 32, Harry O'Neill, will be good. AB having trouble maintaining a lead here. And that shot will be off. Rebound by number 44, Teddy McKenna. And the rebound will go to David Barner Jr. for Lexington. Open three for Ryan Graziano is just off. But Brett Rutina will get the offensive rebound. Brett Rutina, good job following in Ryan Graziano's shot and gets the rebound there. And Roz Ryan Graziano will draw that foul as he is awarded two free throws. First attempt. Is a make. We're going to get Jack Maddox, Estacchio, and Mike Mandawa all back into the game. Right. 
second attempt is also a make. 33-32, AB with the lead here. Matt Bullock is gonna come back into the game first time of the half. AB aggressive on defense. Brett Rutina tips the pass. And Brett Rutina tipped it once again, but that'll go out of bounds. Lexington remains possession. And that is going to be a nice three point shot by number 33, Harry O'Neill. O'Neal with a good shot. Lexington now has a lead, 35-33. AB needs to get back into this game quickly. And a nice pass right there from Matt Bullock to Estacchio as that will lead to a rebound. Matt Bullock drew the, er, the defender away from Jack Maddox right there. Got some points off of it. Brett Rutina with the defensive rebound. Lexington appeared to have an illegal screen right there, but they get the ball somehow. Out of bounds, Lexington ball. And that's an and one for Lexington as number three, David Barner Jr. will get the and one. Lexington is really gaining some momentum here. AB needs to try and slow them down if they want to get back into this game. AB with most of their starters on the floor here, trying to get some points. Mike McGovern will get that defensive rebound. That'll be a foul on number one, Mike Mandowell, as it'll be Lexington's ball. That'll be a bank shot by number 35. That's going to be Darius Mathis. Lexington up by four now. AB really needs to slow them down here. Only a minute remains in the third quarter. And looks like we're going to get a foul. Two Lexington. free throws will be awarded to number 21, Matt Bullock. A Lexington player appears to be injured. That is Darius Mathis, a starter. He gets up, and he's limping off now. Matt Bullock, good play to draw the foul there. Mathis will walk off on his own power. Matt Bullock. First attempt. Is a make. 
Matt Bullock makes this a three-point game. Good job by him. He's creating points off a of foul. Very, very important for this, for this win here. Second attempt is a miss, and it's up for grabs. Still up for grabs as Mike McGovern will settle it down for AB. Both teams scrambled for the ball. AB comes up with it, and they get points off of it. Nandi does so well in the paint. AB down by one here. Half a minute remains in the third quarter. Contested shot will be off as Alex Boyd will bring it in for AB. And as the third quarter comes to a close, it's Lexington with 39, Acton Boxborough with 38. AB's got the ball here, down by one point in the fourth quarter. And we're going to have a traveling call, number 32, Ryan Graziano. Referee's very strict on the traveling tonight. And that's going to be number 44, Teddy McKenna with that basket. Some nice moves there by Mike Mandawa, but it'll go out of bounds, Lexington ball. AB looking to turn the momentum in, in their favor here as Lexington is continually scoring and AB is just having some trouble out there. And the nice block right there by number 32. Ryan Graziano. Mike Mandawa. rebound by Mandawa, but he loses it, but we're going to get a foul. Good job getting his own rebound there. That's going to be AB's ball as number 33. That's going to be Hugh O'Neill checking in for Lexington. O'Neill playing well tonight, using his height to beat AB. Alex Boyd, number 22, standing at six foot seven, will try and contain him. First attempt is a make. Second attempt, a miss, rebounded by number 32, Harry O'Neill. Nice defense right there by Alex Boyd. Ridiculous call right there as the ball stays with Lexington as it hit off the backboard and went out. Boyd just towering over David Barner Jr. right there. And we're going to get a traveling call at number 44. It's Eddie McKenna, AB's ball. AB down by two here, looking to tie the game or at least take a lead. And that's going to be a turnover by number one, Mike Vendawa. And the shot will be rebounded by number three, Mike McGovern. Mike Mandawa open, sees the full court there. Open three, but it's rebounded by number 22, Alex Boyd. We're going to get a foul, so Alex Boyd will take two free throws. That was a good pass right there by Mike Mandawa. He had full court vision and saw Ryan Graziano. Fortunately, he missed his shot, but AB will hopefully get some points off of that play 
regardless. First attempt is a make. Number 11 freshman Jack Maddox is going to check in for AB for Namde. And tie it up. Just off. Lexington scrambles for the ball, but they come up with it. Kevin Barner Jr. with a shot, and it's off, and we're going to get a loose, foul, loose ball foul, AB's ball. Jack Maddox called for the foul there. Lexington will actually get the ball. And we're going to get a drawn foul right there. Foul on number 22, Alex Boyd. First attempt to just make. Lexington, 42, Acton Boxborough, 40. It is a make also. Still a one score game here. AB is very close. Mike Mandawa looking to increase, a, excuse me, trying to tie the game up. Mike Mandela getting his own rebound but misses once again as Kevin Barner Jr. will take it up to court. And that's O'Neill with the shot, rebounded by Lexington once again, missed again, and AB will maintain possession. Open three to tie it up, and it's a make for AB, and the game is tied. Ryan Graziano comes up clutch, hand down, man down. AB ties the game. Number 11, Jack Maddox with the rebound. Ryan Graziano gets the ball again. And it'll be out of bounds, Lexington's ball. LS, excuse me, LHS, looking to get their lead right back here. And looks like we're going to get a foul. Intercepted by number one, Mike Mandowell, who will take it up himself, but rejected by the rim, rejected once again, and it'll be AB's ball. AB just a little too excited there and took the, both shots without really thinking about the fact that there were two players behind them. AB looking to get the momentum back. And looks like we're going to have a foul, and Nomdi will go to the free throw line to take two. And we got a timeout called. First attempt it is a make to give AB the lead. Second 
second attempt is also a make. AB with a two point lead here. Four minutes remain in the game. And a turnover by Lexington as number one, Mike Mandel will take it out for AB. And we got another foul drawn by Nomni as he will take another two free throws. AB again drawing a foul. First attempt is a miss. And we're gonna get another timeout called. And the attempt is a miss. Rebounded by number 33. That's gonna be Hugh O'Neill. Alex Boyd aggressive on defense. He doesn't want Lexington to score. And we're gonna get a foul as Kevin Barner Jr. will draw that foul, taking two free throws. And the attempt is a miss. AB still hold, holds their two point lead, 45 43. Second attempt is a make. AB holding on to a slim one point lead now. Ryan Graziano using his speed. And the rebound by number 32, Harry O'Neill. And Ryan Graziano will commit the turnover. Or he'll draw the turnover, rather. And the missed layup by number one, Mike Mandawa, but it'll be AB's ball. Mike Mandawa nearly got those points there at a very crucial time as two minutes and 37 seconds remain in the fourth quarter. Tip ball, still AB's ball. <laughs> Foul on Kevin Barner Jr., AB's ball. Lexington very upset with that call. And the attempt is a make. Mike Mandel wants to make it a three point game. Second attempt is a make also. Mandel succeeds and now it's 47 44. AB getting some more momentum. Turnover committed by Lexington. That time it's going to be number 44, AB, Teddy McKenna. AB definitely wants to score here. If they can score here, they can make it a two possession game. Alex Boyd taking his time. 
missed shot by Nomdi. Lexington's ball. And yet another turnover committed by Lexington. AB winning the turnover battle, and if they can keep that up, they might as well win the game. Namdi Udoku appeared to draw the foul there. Namdi with the two free throw attempts. AB doing a great job of drawing fouls tonight. And the attempt is no good. Second attempt is a make. Now a two possession game, 48-44 AB. And just 90 seconds left in this one, Lexington is gonna have to work fast. And that shot by number 33, Hugh O'Neill will put them in a little closer. One minute left in the fourth quarter. AB looking for some points. And Nomdi is going to miss that one. Rebound by number 44, Teddy McKenna. Important possession right here for Lexington. And ties it up, just 24 seconds left in the game. AB misses an important rebound there, and now they take the timeout. They need to plan out what they're going to do to win this game. Possibly the most important play of the game coming up right here. AB's got the ball. 24 seconds left. Down by one. AB absolutely needs points right here. And that turnover right there. That is not the thing you want to see right there when you're an AB fan. Even if Lexington converts on these two shots, AB will still have a chance at at least tying the game. Taking the free throws to be number 33, Hugh O'Neill. And that's going to be no good, and it is still a tied game. As a timeout time call. gets called. 7.6 seconds left. Very close game. It all comes down to... Lexington winning 49 to 48, just 7.6 seconds left. It all comes down to this play. Mike McGovern inbound. And that's it, folks. Game over. Lexington 49, Acton Boxborough 48. A very close one here. Tough loss for AB, but they played a great game. They just have to keep their heads high and move on to the next one.